Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash Crafter and welcome to my channel for episode 11 of Sky Factory 3. I love this series so much, you guys know. Um, and today I am super excited for today's episode because I've been anticipating this since the very first episode. Today we're going to be starting Mystical Agriculture. And this is a really cool mod and it should be lots of fun. We have lots of crafting to do and lots of preparation to do. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. So before we get started here, I wanted to show you guys something. So I did a little bit of off-camera work, and you guys know I haven't really been building too much in this series. So I did a little bit of off-camera work, like I said, and I did a new building. And I want to flip around, show you guys what it looks like. Oh, this Enderman is pissed at me. Okay, let's get rid of him. Okay, so I think the Enderman is gone. I don't know what happened to him, but he was pretty mad. But we're going to flip around in just a second and I'm going to show you guys this build that I built because it's kind of weird and it's kind of cool. So in five, four, three, two, one, and whoosh. There we go. This is the new build on the platform. So this is my little empower room or house or place. So this is the empower. We did it in episode 10. Basically, this is exactly what we did in the last episode if you guys missed it. And we kind of figured out how to use it and how it works. And it's a really, really cool thing. Oh god, he's back. He's back. All right, guys. So I'm going to take care of this enderman the best that I can. And I'll be back once I've got this guy gone. The Enderman is gone, I believe, I hope, at least. Um, he seemed to kind of quit being aggro. Yeah, there he is. He seemed to be like, he stopped being aggro, which is good. So I'm just going to continue to show you guys this build. So this is what it looks like from the outside. And I'm pretty proud of this one. I think it's cool. I tried to go along with that fantasy theme that we've kind of been doing. And it just looks the same, you know, all the way around. But I really like it. I think it's kind of interesting. This is for our empower, like I said. And we might be using this later on in the episode. So I do have our trusty chest wall back. And this is everything we need to accomplish in today's episode. So we are going to start mystical agriculture. And we need to start to get an area where we can plant these crops. And basically what we want to do is we want to get a, a platform going. So the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make the angel block. Now this is really cool. This is the things you need to craft it. We can head over here. We can shift click this recipe into our crafting table and there we go. We've got the angel block. And this block is really cool. If you don't know, it's basically just a block that you can set in midair and it will just kind of sit there. So it's pretty awesome. I want to head out this way off towards um, kind of the back of our chicken coop thingy and I want to build the platform out here so let's see actually I want to line this up so we'll kind of come and we'll just go straight as, as straight as we can at least out this direction there we go we want it to be in line sort of it doesn't have to be but it'd kind of be better if it was so I think what I want to do is kind of keep it level maybe a little bit up more and then we just want to put this right in midair just like that and that should be good actually um i kind of want it to be a little bit further away because i'm not sure if it's going to be laggy or not i guess we'll just kind of see we'll see how it goes it should be fine though um but let's see let's come out on each side and i want to make nine by nine farms so i'm just going to make little platforms just like this and then i'll come back with you guys once i've got that finished I have built out the platforms for our farms. This is what they look like. Looking pretty awesome. I like this. I'm deciding to go with kind of an up down just to give it some depth. I think it'll look really cool once we're far away, but I did take out the angel block and now these are just kind of floating here. I also have some of this painted glowstone with the spruce wood. You guys can probably tell I definitely like my spruce wood. Um, but these farms are going to be pretty awesome and I'm planning on doing three in this first episode. So we're going to get those started today and it should be pretty good. So we have a little bit more prep to do. I'm going to head back over to the main island and yeah, we'll get some work done. Oh my goodness. How freaking stinking cute is this? This is, looks like we've got a little spider pig on our hands. What is he, he like climbed up these vines and is just hanging out here. And he has googly eyes, which makes him so awesome. This is so freaking funny. Um, I think what I want to do is, I actually, I do have a name tag on me. 
Um, I was gonna name, there's a sheep over here, and I was planning on naming him, but I think I wanna name this guy, and I think as a kind of remembrance of the Simpsons movie, like a crazy googly-eyed spider pig, it only seems fitting to name him spider pig, so that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that really quick. So let's actually head over to our anvil chimneys, and let's see which is super influenced by, if you guys haven't seen the, uh, the Simpsons movie, they have a, it's, it's, it's a thing in the Simpsons movie, Spider Pig. So we're gonna call him Spider Pig. I don't know, I just think that name is so fitting, because I found him up here, and he was just kind of chilling. I don't know how long he's actually been here. So we're gonna name him Spider Pig. That's so awesome. Um, so yeah, I don't know how he's gonna get down, but he's gonna hang out there for a while, I guess. What we need to do next is we need to make some farmers because we need something to collect all of our crops that we're getting. So I decided to go with the farmers from Actually Additions just because A, the crafting recipe is super easy and when I was testing this out in a test world, a creative world, it seemed like this was a lot easier to figure out. I don't know, it just seemed really simple to me. Now there also is the Ender IO farming station. So we do have this one. This is the farming station. It's a lot harder to make. It takes a lot of things. It also requires a tool. Um, so it constantly has to have a tool in it to work. And then the the kind of setup, like it's really nice because it's very fast. It, it plants the crops. It's super quick. It's really fast. So I don't know. I just like how simple the farmer is, but it just seems really simple to me. And I like, I don't know. I like things kind of simple. And if we do decide to go over to the farming station later on, that's something we can always do. That's always an option for us, but as of right now, I'm just going to stick with the plain old farmer. So the crafting recipe looks like this. We're just going to shift click this in, grab one of those guys out. Ooh, let's shift click another one. There we go. So we've got two of those. We need three. And boom, just like that. Next thing we're going to want to do is we need a way to power our farmers. So I really liked the power cells we were working with in the last episode. So I think we're going to do that again today. So I did set up some stuff. So I'm just going to grab some of this out and then we can make ourselves these power cells. All right. So we are going to go with the simple power cell. Now we do need this machine frame. So we want to make two of those. And then we can shift click the whole recipe in and go like this. Oops. So now we can shift click that in and there we go. We've got two of those simple power cells. Now we also need to make these power cell cards. We did this in the last episode, so it might seem a little repetitive, but I'm going to run through it really quickly. Then we're going to hop down to our bottom base and what we're going to do is we're going, we're going to link these. So I'm going to put it right on top of this generator. And then we want to press the in, so that'll start collecting power over here, which is awesome. This thing has been just sitting here collecting power for a long time, so it's pretty good. So we've got this um, at a link ID of 8. So then what we want to do is we want to link this one, so they're both matching. They both say 8 on them. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the far side of our farms, and right under this painted glowstone block, I'm going to cut this piece out and then put our and then put our simple power cell right there. Then what we can do is we can put this guy in and you'll see that this thing kicks on and it starts to get power. This will just kind of sit under here and what what it will do is it will transfer power to all three of our farmers. Next thing I need to do really quick is I actually need to get dirt cuz we can't have a farm without dirt. So now we need to hook the power up to our farmers and I I want to use these energy conduits. So I've got my power cell here. We want to put an energy conduit right on like this and then we need to face our farmer in the correct direction. So I I think if we do this, yeah, so there's a big black box here and that basically tells you that is the direction that the farmer is going to plant. So it doesn't have that on any other side. So that means it's going to shoot out seeds in this direction. So next thing we want to do is I just want to put my other ones down along here. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to take out all of these. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy. We can always cover this up with other blocks if we need to. So then I've carved out the back of the farm just like this so we can put our energy conduits in. And I just want to run these right along this edge. 
and then up and around into that farmer. So that should be good. So this is what it's looking like so far. We've got the pipes running all along and each of these farmers should be getting power. Oh yeah, I need to say out. So, so this thing should be given power. Yep, looking good. So this one's filling up. Let's check this one. This one is filling up. So it's actually starting to till the dirt, which is really awesome. It's having a hard time. It's going to be using power because we don't have a water source as of right now. So what we need to do is we actually need to make some growth crystals. And these are cool because what they'll do is they'll act as a water source. I think what I want to do though is I actually want to put water in each of those sources as of right now because if I don't it'll just keep trying to till the ground and it'll keep sucking out power. So if we just take our uh, water egg in order to make a few more of the growth crystals, I need to make some more of these Empowered Palace Crystal Blocks. So if we head over to our Empower really quick, we can go over here through the vines. And I showed this in the last episode, so I'm not going to spend too much time showing you guys how this works. But we're just going to put our Prismarine Shards and then our Cyan Dye. And it will shoot out and show this super cool animation. I love this. I said it in the last episode. I'll say it again. I love this. It's awesome. But I'm going to do this for a little while, get enough of our crystal blocks, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So I've been doing a little work off camera. I've been trying to get these Empowered Palace crystals, and I've gotten, you know, halfway done about, but I've been kind of looking around and looking into different things. And I wanted to make these cool things that I just found. They're called conduit facades. And basically, you use your painting machine, which is, you, you guys know, one of my favorite blocks. I love this thing. It's so cool. You can paint glowstone. You can do all kinds of things. Um, so I'm going to take my alloy smelter out. I'm going to put my painting machine on top. Then what we can do is we can make these facade blocks. So if we do some of this, and I think... I just, uh, I don't, uh, I don't really know how many I need. 15 might be. Okay, we'll, we'll at least try 15. Um, so I want to use spruce wood. So if we put spruce wood in and then these conduit facades, it should be able to paint those and we can place these over the conduits and what they'll do is hide the conduit so you don't have a lot of piping going on. There's probably a lot of people who do like the look of the piping, but personally me, I try to hide them as best I can. This is a really cool way that I found that you can actually hide your piping, which is awesome. So we're going to go over and we're going to try it. Now I did change up the piping just a little bit back here because it was hanging down below and I didn't like the look of it because you could see it from our main base platform over there and I was like, ah, that doesn't look so great. So um, let's see, I guess what I should do is maybe try, so I guess if we just right click, that is so cool. And it says conduit facade. Is this, I hope it's still getting power. I don't see why it wouldn't, it's just covering the conduit game changer oh man i love this that is so cool so i'm just gonna continue doing this it's kind of taking me quite a while but i'm just cruising kind of chilling doing this it's time to make some growth crystals so we got to make the growth crystal tier ones now i already have two of these um but we do want to make a few more so let's take these guys out come over here and we'll just shift click those in we'll make four more of those i want to have a total of six of these tier two growth crystals by the end of the episode. I'm just gonna make some of these growth accelerators. The Inferium block, it's not too hard, but you do need a lot of the Inferium. So I'm gonna see how many of these I can make. So I just made 12 of those growth accelerators. And the next thing we need to do is make fertilized dirt, I think it was. Yeah, fertilized dirt. So this is with chicken manure. Ooh, we should have enough of this. And we're all good there, so I just grabbed 12 of those as well. So then we need to make this greenhouse glass. And this is kind of the hard part. We just need some saplings as well as these empowered palace crystals. So this is why we needed the empower. So there we go. We even have some left over, which is good. And then what we can do is we can just shift click these in. Actually, let's put all of that in. And then we've got these tier two, so we're almost there. And I wanted to make six of these. So I'm just gonna head to sleep really quick. And then what we can do is we can head over and we can put our growth crystals in. So I just wanna put them directly in the center. So we'll fill that one and then put another one right on top. I like this block, it looks really cool. I figured putting them in the center would be the best way to do it. I don't 
mind too much that that one block is missing. I don't think it will really affect anything. So next thing we need to get into is the fun part. We need to grow the crops and get into the crops. So the first one I wanted to make was I wanted to make one farm of wheat. So pretty easy, not too crazy. We're gonna start the wheat farm. And so I think if I just put them in here, so this has got full power, we're good there. If I put the seeds in here, just like this, there we go. You can see that the farm is starting to plant the seeds. Now this farmer does work in rows, so it's gonna it's going to plant the seeds in rows, and then it's also going to pull the seeds out in rows. Um, so that's kind of different than the Endryo farming station as well. I don't think that one, I think that one just pulls crops whenever they're done, but this one it'll actually kind of do it in rows and keep checking in rows to make sure that crops are done. We'll have to set up a storage system on the side of this to collect all of the wheat and all of the seeds. So the next seeds that we need to make are these inferior inferium seeds. Now what these do is they grow inferium. And the inferium is what is mainly used in mystical agriculture. This is how you get to the higher tiers of crops basically. So you want to get the inferium and after the, after the inferium comes the prudentium. And then after the prudentium comes the intermedium. And then after the intermedium comes the, the superium. Superium. And then after the superium comes the supremium. So there's lots of tiers to these and you have to use these infusion crystals to get to the higher tiers. Now this, this is really hard to make. It takes a long time. And in order to do that, you need to be growing inferium essence. So this is the tier one seed pretty easy and this will basically I think just give you one inferium per harvest then you have the prudentium the tier two seed and this will give you um I believe it's like two inferium per harvest so we want to work our way up through these different tiers so that we can get to the supremium but we want to just start easy we want to start with the tier one pretty easy crafting recipe and you can also get these in loot bags which I think is cool so then I just want to make a stack plus 16 of this. Then we'll head over to our farming area again and we'll plant these guys. Picked one of them, which is good. So this does work in rows, like I was saying. So once it picks one, it'll keep going. It'll keep going down the rows and then it will replant it once it gets back to this, um, this slot here. So we'll go in the center here and we'll put these guys down. And you can see it starts to plant. And it's pretty awesome. The growth crystals are working already, so they've already got these guys over here at a 14%, which is super cool. Then you can see in here, it starts to tick down. And once it's actually harvest an item, it will put it on the right side. So the seeds go on the left, and then the items go on the right. So we can take a look over here. You can see all the wheat is on the right side, and all the seeds are on the left. So when it comes to mystical agriculture, there's quite a lot to this mod. Like there's tons of seeds, kind of like the chickens. Uh, there's tons of different seeds you can get. And all of these seeds do different things. So you get these essence and these essence are used to basically make, um, let's see. These essence are basically used to make different items. So with the wood essence, we can make oak wood, we can make spruce, we can make birch, you know, jungle. We can make all these different things, which is super cool. So the first few seeds that I wanted to start with was the stone seed. This will grow stone for us, which is cool. And then the dirt seed grow, grows dirt for you, which is so good because then we don't have to use the barrels to make dirt. We can actually grow it. I wanted to make the nature seed. And then I wanted to make the ice seed. So these are all the tier ones that I wanted to make for this episode. They're all pretty easy, but what we need to get is this tier one crafting seed. So in order to make any of these seeds, you need to use a crafting seed. And to make this, you need to make a base crafting seed. And this is what we needed the prosperity shards for. So I talked about these in one of the last couple of episodes. And what we want to do is we want to make some of these. So I need to make 20 of these. The first seed I'm going to make is I'm going to make this stone seed. It's pretty easy, um, but we do still need this base crafting seed. So we're going to shift click those in. And again, we'll just try to make 20 of these guys if we can. There we go. We've got 20 of the tier one crafting seeds. So then we need to make these stone seeds and we want to make 20 of these as well. Now what we can do is we can head over to our last farming area and this is where I'm going to plant them. So I'm hoping that we can get all four 
um, of the different types in here. So what we'll do is we will plant 20 of those guys and they should plant, yeah, there we go. And then it looks like we've also got some Inferium here and that one just um, picked that guy up, so that's cool. And we've already got 13 Inferium Essence just from this. We've also got wheat going over here. We already have a stack, which is pretty cool. And I have to admit, these are a little bit slower than the Ender IO farming stations, but I think they work great. I think they work fine. My mob farm has been going insane with the Inferium Essence. If you guys are playing this pack and you don't have a crazy mob farm, I definitely suggest getting one. It's Other than growing it, it's definitely... I think it's the only way to get Inferium, to be honest. I, I don't think there's any other way to get it. So then the next one I wanted to make was the dirt seed. So we need to make 20 more of these base crafting seeds. And I'm just going to make sets of 20 for the rest of the ones that we want as well. Then we're going to repeat the process again and we need to make these tier 1 crafting seeds. So we're just going to shift click those in and what we'll do is do this. And again I'll just make the 3 sets of 20. Oftentimes when I am kind of planning out what I'm doing, I like to separate things like this so I don't get so confused. I just find it easier personally when I kind of, you know, set, separate things into 20. Like this is going to be for the dirt essence, this is going to be for the ice essence, and this is going to be for the nature essence. Heading over to the dirt seed, we want to make one of these guys. So we want to actually do 20 of these. Now I just remembered we do need ice in order to make the ice seed. That only makes sense, right? But I totally just spaced on it, so we actually can't make that seed right now. So we'll just make the three for right now, and I think we have enough to make the nature essence. I'm not actually sure. We'll, t we'll take a look. Let's take a look. So we need these nature clusters, and I definitely don't have pumpkins. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't have. So I think what we'll do is we'll hold off on these two as of right now, and maybe we'll do those at the beginning of next episode, but I do want to head over and plant these dirt seeds. And the dirt seed and the stone seed were actually the two that I wanted the most. I'm, I'm still, I'm feeling pretty good, and we already have four stone essence, which is awesome. So we'll plant these guys, and it should just go straight. And look at these crops. They look awesome. They look really, really cool. I like those a lot. But there we go, so now it's planted them and it will plant basically where it's left off, but I've sorted them out enough to where I think I'll have enough for each crop, which will be good. So once I get the nature essence and the ice essence, I'll put them in this, um, this cluster with our other ones too, and it should be working pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll probably do it off camera, but I'm going to get storage set up for all of these different, um, these different crops that we have here and everything should be pretty good with that. I'm really happy with our farming setup. I think this is good. I think we got a lot done in this episode as for farming. I now officially have a spider sheep as well. So we've got googly eyed spider pig and spider sheep. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode today. I had a blast filming this one. This was a good one. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I also hope you guys all have a very, very, very wonderful day. I'll talk to you in the next episode and I'll see you soon. Before I go, I also just want to mention that I am now leaving the link to this playlist down in the description below. So if you guys are interested in watching this from the beginning, if you're just catching this, um, this episode today, then I do have a playlist linked in the description. So check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll talk to you later.